Chris Waddell here for Nipawan News and Views. I'm recording this on April 6th, no, yes, Tuesday, April 6th, and I'm just heading across the street. Noticed a change change at the intersection at the intersection of Mountain and Hamilton an institution that's owned by Blake Rowe and his wife I had noticed it on my sales slip a change of name and we're just going over to have a quick chat with Blake. It says Nivois Fresh Mart. This is a heritage building. We'll just go in and see Blake. There's products in here. We'll see if that's gonna be a continue to be a staple. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Thanks. How are you? Good. I noticed a change yeah. when I bought something the other day. What's up? Oh, come on through, girl. Come on. Now we're we're safely socially distanced. I want okay. people to see who you really are. Okay. I'll stand back okay. more than six feet. I might zoom in, maybe not. And that way we can see your smiling face. Okay. Take off the mask. Okay. There he is! Hurrah! So how long have you owned this store, sir? 25 years in August. Oh, wow, quarter century. Yep. Ooh, you were just babies when you took this over. <laughs> My husband's been at age because I feel pretty old now. So. <laughs> Tell the people what your name is. Uh, well, our company has switched from Shop Easy to Fresh Mart. Um, all the logistics on the other side, I'm not real sure why or what the reasoning is behind it. Uh, they're trying to streamline the names and it, and it will eliminate some of the smaller stores will be gone. Um, yeah. It's a buying thing, I'm assuming, uh, for what they tell us. But when I say we were tomboy years ago, we went to shop easy. We didn't get a lot of explanation then either that other than it was time to change. And okay. that's kind of what we're hearing this time too. So. But it's still tied into President's Choice. Yeah, nothing. And super yeah, value. Everything else stays the same. A little bit different on our side. Some of the parameters that we have to follow and stuff that we have to do will change somewhat. But I mean, other than for the consumer, nothing changes other than the sign up front. So. Yeah, I, I just noticed on my sales slip that I. How long has the sign been out front? Uh, last Wednesday. Okay, so I'm not totally, I'm not totally no. blind, but I did. Well, the whole thing was actually supposed to be done before June last year. COVID hit, yeah. and everything got pushed back, and it was, uh, yeah, it was a nightmare. So now we kind of rushed it a bit to get it done because we want to get it before everybody. Because anybody who's going to stay with the Law Laws group, if they don't change, they'll be gone. So okay. So and, and there's not and there's not many that will be gone, but some of that like between us, Saskatchewan is where some of the smaller stores okay. tend to lie. So there'll be some that just won't follow the program. Okay. Um, so, some technical changes where our front end system will change. Um, it, we needed an upgrade anyway, so it was going to happen. But so basically, the front end system might have somebody in St. John's, Newfoundland, would have, or in you know okay. Brooks, Alberta, or wherever. Well, I, I know this. When I was in shopping one day, I noticed the scanner was different at the at the front counter. Yes. And those things, that's a technology like that's upgrading computers. Yeah, and like our system, you know, we thought, oh, we just upgraded it. Well, yeah, that was 16 years ago. So it, it's, it, it was time to, so this way, <laughs> this way the information flows a lot easier. They can send it, if there's a price that they want to introduce or a product to introduce, it's automatically sent to the to the front end, so just not the computer where we have to do anything. Now it's in and it's ready to go. So now, do you still have some uh, local? You have some local suppliers. Oh yes. That we're just by one of those coolers right now. Yes. Um, uh, you want to tell us about your local suppliers because I think that's a that's a unique thing to Nipawa. Uh, big thing. I, I, 
local town wise I really try um, province wide I, if it's made in Manitoba we always try and bring it in yeah and then you know you expand to Canada and try and keep it yeah back. But, but anything local uh, they get, kind of give us free reign um, out here a bit because we're not the big city so if it's something that we can sell we'll definitely try and sell it um, some of it with the new rigs makes it tough to sell some stuff people have product they'd love to sell it's just some of it we can't just because of you know regulations we just can't yes. do it but yeah, anything local that we can. Um, with the ethnic stuff right now, we've done quite well with it. It's something, you know, something else we can offer too. Yes, um, and, and I, I see her postings on Facebook. So how many local suppliers, like right in Nipah, ethnic suppliers would you have? We have one of that, um, and then um, you have about three to four produce ones when, well, if anything will grow this year with a rain, I don't know, but we, do buy some produce locally too. Um, just people who grow it. That's uh, same thing. It has to meet somewhat of a spec for us to carry it. But uh, yeah. but right now it's just the one uh, one ethnic one we carry. Yeah. So that's excellent. So how many employees do you have here? Roughly. I mean, you'll have part time. Twenty two. Twenty two. So and you're open. The hours you're open. We are open uh, now. Our hours change a little bit here. We are open Monday through Saturday, seven a.m. to eight p.m and Sunday 9 to 6. Okay, so somebody needs something. Yeah, we're usually here. Right on the corner, right by the lights. <laughs> yep, we're, we're usually and, here. And, and you're um, here a lot of the time. Our Sunday hours changed a bit, um, just with the province changed some of the bylaws and rules, so yeah. it's it's what everybody's going to, so it's... Well, congratulations on 25 yeah. years. I remember you and your brother started out together and, and he branched out to something else. Yes. And you've stayed here with, with your wife. It doesn't seem like it's been and that long, but... Uh, I, I, I understand. Whoa, there she goes. But the way my body feels, yes, it does feel like 25 years, a long day, so... <laughs> anyway, well, keep up the good work. Thank you for all the people you employ, and thank you for all the products that you offer to us. And uh, NEC TV appreciates this business on the corner. And this is from the Fresh Mart at the corner of Hamilton and Mountain in Nipois on April 6th. Thanks for watching.